I just spent some time debugging these video lights. Um, they're called Aperture. Sounds like Aperture. Uh, that's the company that makes them. They are uh, powered by those Sony type NPF batteries. Um, LED video panel for not too much money that do a pretty decent job. But I just managed to somehow fry them, three of them. Actually, I didn't fry anything concerning the actual light output, but if you look at the board on the left side, you have two drivers for the LEDs. It all seems fine. But on the right side, this is where something went wrong while I was charging several batteries with these LED panels. I'm not 100% sure what exactly I did wrong. I didn't think that I was doing anything wrong. I plugged in the panels, I plugged in the batteries and let them charge. Maybe I shouldn't have taken off the batteries while it was plugged into the uh, power supply. This charging chip is fried on this one, um, but it will still turn on. It just won't, yeah, won't be able to charge the battery anymore and these LEDs won't turn on anymore. They usually show the percentage with four little green bars of your battery. This other one that I took apart, the, the charging chip still seems okay. But over here, I found out that this diode had zero ohms, so it was um, conducting, and I had to switch it or take it out. So, it w so before I did that, it wouldn't even turn on because it short-circuited the main power supply. Now that I put in a new diode, those battery indicating LEDs will also turn on again. And if I dim down the LED, the fourth one comes up because the voltage of the battery goes up again. So that's all back to normal. This also means that this microcontroller is not hurt um, because that's the one that's controlling the LEDs and this uh, seven segment display for the power that you're controlling with this potentiometer. But it's still not really fixed because when I plug in the power supply, usually these LEDs should blink like ping, 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 when they're charging the battery, when it's charging the battery. But it's not doing that. I found a data sheet for this charging controller, lithium battery charger. It says that pin number four or five, four and five is going into these resistors. When one of them, I think it was this one, number five, is pulled to low, um, this indicates that the charging is in progress. So right now the battery is not completely full. The Power supply is attached. Power supply is attached. Uh, it should be pulled to low. This just should um, signal the microcontroller that it's charging and the microcontroller should let the LEDs blink. So what I try is just pull this to the ground over here where the battery is connected and when I do so that's actually the pin number four when I do that it starts blinking as if it would be charging and I even think it is charging because I measured the voltage um, at the battery tabs, it's slowly increasing. 
Yeah, but it's not signaling this charging progress. Because if I take away the tweezers, it's not blinking anymore. But also the the inductor here gets really hot. I wonder if it if it's not a little too hot. But yeah, I think this thing really yeah took a hit. Um, it's most likely because this one is obviously completely fried. So maybe here it was a little bit worse. Um, yeah, but I don't know what happened. So, yeah, at least these two still work. Maybe they, they're not really charging the right way, obviously. But the third one, it's not even turning on. Little P for power, lights up green, but it stays off. So I'm going to take apart this one too. So to open up the panel, you have to unscrew 12 little screws on the border here. Then there's a tiny screw from the side, the knob, so you can take off the knob. You can see it in here. Holds the knob to the potentiometer. <coughs> And unscrew this. And now so then you can just take it off. And there are three more screws. And after that, you can flip it. <clears throat> okay, that guy is completely fried too. I already ordered some new ones. They're like a dollar piece from China. It's called CN3704. And I'm really glad actually that one of the panels didn't burn like these two because then I wouldn't have been able to get the code, probably. Yeah, but I at least want to try to get this thing running again. Probably one of the uh, diodes is burned again. I hope so. The fuse seems fine on all of them, which is funny because the fuse should prevent stuff like that. Maybe they should have put a fuse up here where the battery is because the battery input is not fused. And it could be one reason actually for this to happen is uh, that the battery voltage got too low when I was using the panel. And since this is a switching power supply, maybe it was pulling too much current as the battery voltage was going down mm, but I'm not sure if this could be the reason maybe it's also a combination of several things like if the battery packs have internal uh, under voltage protection and suddenly cut off the battery pack and then something freaks out in the charging circuit I don't know but at least I see the fried piece Okay, so I quickly desoldered the broken charging circuit and luckily it works again. So really the damage never reached any of the driving circuit or the control circuit. It's really just the, the battery part that's the problem. Now I have to wait for my new controllers. In the meantime, I can't charge batteries with the panels, which is not a complete disaster. I mean, they still seem to work fine and I can power them with either battery or power supply. Yeah, so I will keep you updated when I 
renew the charging part and hopefully then it will be like before. A couple weeks later some new controllers have arrived and now I will desolder the broken one and try my luck. Now I'm going to plug in the power supply. And it does the I'm charging blinking code. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I can check the voltage of the battery. If it increases, it would mean to me that it's actually charging. 1578. Fifteen seventy-nine seems to increase. Second one is working as well. Very nice. And there's the third one working again. So I got to repair all three of them just by changing the controller circuit. Uh, not the whole circuit, but the integrated circuit, the charging controller. So if you have a defective panel like this, it's really worth trying the chip is called CN3704 it's a lithium charging controller and I think it was like two dollars a piece I'm not sure or 150 yeah. so that's great by the way even though I'm not 100% sure why I destroyed th all three panels um, I think the situation where it happens could be when you have a power supply plugged in and then afterwards plugging the batteries while it's running so uh, in case you plan on charging the batteries or plan on using power supply while using batteries uh, always plug in the batteries first um, I think that's the safest way to prevent something from happening like what I made happen <laughs> 